pavement primate and inline imps, hello and welcome back. If you desire more power, control and speed when going backwards, you want to nail the backwards crossover. Of course I mentioned for almost every technique that you must stay low. Stay low. I will also reinforce that you should concentrate on staying wide. Stay wide. For this one as well. Practicing the crossovers in a figure eight pattern is a simple way to ensure you drill both sides equally. Oddly, I often get confused as to where I am in this simple figure eight. I blame it on oxygen debt or uh, attentional dedication to technique. Maybe you're just dozy. The possibility. The backward crossover is a heavy gas pedal. Use it going out of the corners about halfway through a medium turn. Notice that keeping wide also gives me great angle on the outside foot to dampen speed with friction. On this less dominant side, my inside foot is not reaching as much as I'd hoped. While on my dominant side, I'm able to reach back for a fuller, smoother stride. My arms swing opposite my legs in a forward-backward motion. The wider I reach with the inward foot, the bigger, more powerful the arm swing becomes. Here we are, low and wide. The inside foot takes the lead out of the corner. Outside foot crosses over a bit. Inside foot comes back with a far bigger reach than the crossover. Outside foot over the front, then reach. Outside foot over the front, then reach. For the crossover quick start, foot speed is paramount. As with forward sprints, you should start with the taller position and shorter strides. These strides will lengthen as you speed up and get lower. If you play ice hockey, drilling and knowing your backward edges will give you great control over how and when you check. Drilled crossovers will allow you to close down lanes or create opportunities that are hard for others to foresee. Here's a clip that looks pretty weird backwards, but you'll notice that throughout I'm always in a position that would be good for forward flow. Pause the vid at any moment and you'll see the body position looks set for forward rolling. Off pause, the skating looks crazy as shit though. Hence my inclusion of the said footage. I prefer to practice with the regular patterns to ensure that I have crossovers for varied turn tightness. Alternating sides in quick succession also allows for quicker technique comparison and will lead to more significant equalization of sides. One quick point I'll tack on unceremoniously is that I attempt to use the toe flick or foot extension as I would when going forward. Foot extension not only completes the stride pattern, but also gives your acceleration a serious kick from the calves. Oh mate, those baby cows are strong they are. Got a lot of power in them. Even though they're little. That is the skinny on the backwards crossover. If you've nailed the forward crossover already, then nothing is stopping you from applying that form to the backward flow. Good luck chimping it out and remember to stay wide. Stay wide. Okay, we get it. Really? Stay lower. I can't stand that guy. He's a hack. Very disappointed, Bill. <laughs>